The custom attributes are now in place, but they currently have no effect on the scene. You'll now use the Reaction Manager to have the foot point helpers rotate in response to the values of their respective custom attributes. Choose Animation Reaction Manager to open that dialog box. Before you start, here's a word of caution about the Reaction Manager dialog. If you are using a version of 3ds Max prior to 2013, you may experience some refresh issues in the values that you define. This will force you to close and reopen the Reaction Manager dialog each time you make a change. This is a well-known and quite annoying problem that you have to deal with. If you are using 3ds Max 2013 or newer, you won't have any problems. You can keep the dialog displayed until you have finalized all reaction values. Let's go back to the scene. You will start with the heel peel effect. Try it out by rotating that helper in local mode to get a feel for the effect. The Z rotation angle should range from 0 at rest to about minus 60 for a maximum rotation. In the Reaction Manager dialog, click the Add Master icon and then click on the foot control shape. Browse to and select Modified Object, Attribute Holder, Custom Attributes, Heel Peel. That custom attribute gets displayed in the Reaction Manager. Make sure the new Master Object entry is selected in the Reaction Manager. Now select the Heel Peel Point Helper and then, in the Reaction Manager, click the Add Selected icon. Browse and select Transform rotation, zero Euler XYZ, Z rotation. Remember to never use the frozen rotation track as that track is only meant to restore the original T-stance pose. You now have a connection between the heel peel custom attribute and the heel peel point helper. In fact, you already have an initial state that ensures the point helper's Z rotation angle is at zero when the custom attribute's value is zero. You need an additional state, one that ensures that the point helper is at its maximum rotation when the custom attribute is at its maximum value. Click the Create State icon, a new state is created. Change the State2 value to 10. This represents the custom attribute spinner value. Change the Z rotation value to minus 60. This is effectively saying that if the spinner is at a value of 10, the point helper should rotate minus 60 degrees. As mentioned earlier, if you are using a 3DS Max release prior to 2013, you may need to exit and reopen this dialog to refresh it. Select the foot control shape and test the heel peel custom attribute. Let's do another one together so you can get a better feel for it. We'll work on the toe tap effect. This one drives the toes in opposite rotations, up and down, for about 45 degrees. Create a new master entry for the foot control, this time based on the toe tap custom attribute. Make sure the new entry is selected in the Reaction Manager, and then make also sure the toe tap point helper is selected in the scene. Click the Add Selected icon and wire the custom attribute to the Z rotation of the helper as you did earlier. An initial rest state is created. This time, you'll need two additional states, one that rotates the toe upward and another that rotates the toe downward. Go ahead and add two new states. Set state 2 so that when the custom attribute's value is at 10, the helper rotates 45 degrees. Set state 3 so that when the custom attribute's value is at minus 10, the helper rotates minus 45 degrees. Test the custom attribute when done. Keep in mind the values don't need to be identical. For example, you may elect for the toes to rotate more upward than downward. You can make those adjustments at any time.
Now that you got the gist of it, go ahead and add reactions to the four remaining custom attributes. Be careful which rotation axis you choose. The toe and heel twist effects need a Y rotation. The toe and heel lifts need a Z rotation. Also, when defining the rotation limits, always consider giving it a bit more than you think is needed. When you hand the rigged character to the animator, you want to ensure they are not blocked or limited by the limb rotations you defined. When you're done, test your custom attributes one last time. If you notice a bit of a snap in the leg when twisting the heel or the toe, that's because the legs are very straight at the moment. When you bend the knees a little bit, that side effect should disappear. If you've edited the position and rotation of the foot control, remember that you can reset it by using Alt right mouse button and then transform to zero. Save your file before moving on to the next movie. In the next movie, you create a custom attribute to control the swivel of the leg.